after the whole Suicune thing. Man, I don't know if there's anything that can make me like Pokemon Journeys again. I will gladly take that. Pokemon Ranger, I choose you! What's up, mighty boys and girls? It's your Ranger Boy here, and welcome to another review of Pokemon Journeys. Today is not only the week where episode 54 has aired, aka Messon Impossible, <laughs> nice wordplay. I guess by the time they will do a title card in the English dub, it will probably be called something like, um, let me think. Mission Impossible. Oh! I will totally use that as my video title. <clears throat> anyway, as you guys can probably tell, this episode is all about Sobble, his encounter with my favorite Gen 8 starter evolution, Intellion, and the effects that this encounter will have for both Go and Sobble. So, if you want to know more, if you want to know my opinion, then grab some popcorn, go grab some cookies, and let's do it. Not only is Intellion one of the main stars in this review, but it also seems like that even in this episode itself, it is the focus of attention. Go fanboys over him since he seems to be a huge movie star, Ash fanboys over his really cool design, something I can totally relate to, and even the usually shy Sobble, who had a pretty scary experience early on, in this episode gets his spirit lifted up after seeing the future potential that he might have within himself. So naturally, our heroes go straight to the nearby movie setting to witness the heroine and secret agent Jacqueline getting saved by her partner, the superstar Intellion. But just like M. Night Shyamalan would say, what is a movie without a sudden and unexplained plot twist? Sadly, in this case, it's kinda expected because it's Team Rocket with their usual gacha machine gimmick, who then quickly get blasted off again by the super cool Intellion, who uses both his stealthy skills and surprisingly really powerful snipe shot to save the day. So while everyone else was ready to go home, Sobble was so hypnotized by this display of coolness that he wanted to get in touch with his newfound role model just a little bit more, and with the spare time both movie stars have left, they spent some time with Go's timid partner, getting flashbacks of how even the strong and cool as ice Intellion was once much of a scaredy cat as Sobble is right now. Inspired by this exchange, Sobble seemed to act very cool and confident at first, but sadly his timid personality can't help but to dominate his very being once again, which results in him running and hiding once again. Acknowledging that, Go wants to work together with his Pokemon to solve that problem. But before we are going to witness how exactly he's going to solve this problem, we make a shortcut to Team Rocket, and even those guys are idolizing Intellion like crazy, even going so far to construct a master plan to catch it. I wonder how that will go. Anyway, let's head back to Sakuragi headquarters, where it turns out that overcoming his problems with sheer training alone didn't really result in anything, since Sobble quickly returned back to his old and safe hide and seek tactic. And even though Ash was really questioning of whether or not this timid personality can be any use in battle, Go quickly realized that there is a way to use Sobble's weakness as an advantage, by using Jacqueline's and Intellion's way of battle, which revolves a lot around silence and stealth. So the first approach of improving that newly discovered battle style of hide and seek is to play hide and seek, and if I might add, a very good first step into the right direction. Unfortunately, this fruitful day seemingly won't end in a positive manner, since the Pokemon of the staff member from the Intellion movie got stolen, and all that the thieves have left behind is a really suspicious map. Hmm. But there's no time for thoughts, so therefore our heroes try to save the day, and soon enough they arrive at a very mysterious cave guarded by several machines with cameras. Surprise surprise, it's Team Rocket, of course. But actually surprising was the fact that Team Rocket was really upset when they caught Ash and his friends, since this whole plan was intended to be for their idol Intellion. And to be honest, seeing Team Rocket treating Ash and Pikachu as some kind of secondary prize, as some kind of participation trophy, was actually kind of funny, and in some way reminded me a lot of Team Rocket from Black and White, where they concentrated more on their mission rather than constantly chasing down Pikachu. But let us talk more about Black and White in a future video, wink wink, because for now we concentrate on the present event, which is everybody else but Sobble getting caught, which then resulted in Sobble using his stealth training to run away from the enemy while also attacking from the distance, until James uses those, um, 
school board sponge thingies to make our stealthy Pokemon not so stealth anymore. Although Sobble seemed to be pushed into a corner, one flashback of his idol was enough to gather up some strength and thanks to that sudden burst of bravery, Sobble makes the impossible mission possible. Oh! By learning a new move totally fitting for his style of battle. U-turn. Soon after that, our heroes break out of the trap. Team Rocket is blasting off again. Sobble receives praise from his role model and that's the end. That's it. And without any more hesitation, let's talk about my impressions. Short and simple, this episode was so good, especially because each and every main participant played their role to utmost perfection. First we had Inteleon, who was basically displayed as this cool Pokemon who everybody, including even the villains themselves, idolized like crazy. And how could you not after seeing the way he used his stealthy yet also powerful offense? But not only was he cool from the outside, but also from a story aspect. He was a cool guy by inspiring the next generation and motivating Sobble to reach new heights. Then we had Go who also fulfilled his role very competently by being the one who gets his Pokemon back up every time it witnessed failure and once again lets his great deduction skills and analysis shine by turning Sobble's greatest weakness into his greatest strength. Last but not least the main star of this episode Sobble himself. And this episode really made me feel the same way I did with the episode about Ash's Galarian Farfetch'd. Great relief. Because besides Riolu and Reboot, for the most part we have barely seen any kind of focus episode let alone moment of any other Pokemon besides those two. And I'm really glad that Pokemon Journeys is finally pulling themselves together by letting other Pokemon get the spotlight. Which, let's be honest here, it was desperately needed for Farfetch, but especially for Sobble, who before this episode had barely any relevant screen time to showcase his character. But in this episode they finally established my favorite Gen 8 starter as more than just a timid and whiny Pokemon. Now he showcased a lot of bravery, determination and also showed that in some cases he also has a very playful and even prankish kind of side to him, which just made me fall in love with Sobble even more. If there's a nitpick I would have for this episode, then it would be that there was a bit too much Team Rocket in this episode. But at the same time, having them interfere with our heroes twice in one episode had the purpose to not only showcase Intalion in battle, but also underline the fact that even Team Rocket themselves were fanboying all over the secret agent Pokemon. Which then led to this really funny scene of Team Rocket being more interested in Intalion rather than in Pikachu. But in my opinion, establishing both Intalion's skills and Team Rocket's admiration could have been done even without the stereotype typical interference and therefore the whole gacha machine gimmick. So overall I personally love this episode so much. I would have completely loved this episode if it wasn't for the whole Suicune thing. Which compared to this episode feels like some kind of bizarre parallel universe where nothing makes sense compared to this episode, this universe right here which perfectly made sense. The question of course is, is this enough to wipe away that one stain out of Ghost resume? Hmm, maybe one day in hindsight we can look at that moment and just laugh at it. But for now it's still fresh in our memories and so far I can't really say that I can 100% overlook that huge misstep. But at least I can say this. Just like Sobble himself, they're at least on the right track to a better future. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this review. What is your opinion on Sobble's development? And first and foremost, what is your opinion on Inteleon, this really cool Pokemon? Tell me and just like always, I see you guys in the comments down below.